we're going to talk about simple interest. There's a bunch of different ways that money can grow, interest can accrue, and one of them is simple interest. And the thing about simple interest, as it says here, it involves earning interest or earning only on the principal, only on the original investment. So as you accrue interest, you are not, not earning interest on interest not earning returns on prior returns. So let's take a look, little example. Uh, so today is the beginning of year one. It's today, we call it time zero. And you have $100 that you put in investment. So this is $100 and it earns simple interest of 6% per year. What happens in one year from now? So in one year from today, you will get interest. It would be the 6% times 100 so you would get six dollars in interest for year one so how much did you have in one year you would have the original hundred plus the six dollars in interest which would give you hundred and six dollars how about two years from today well two years from today now it's time to figure out how much interest we get to you know add to our account and we say okay we know we get six percent we know we have $106 in our account at the beginning of the year, but we don't get to earn interest on that 106. We only earn interest on the original amount, and that was the 100. So guess what? In year two, we get $6 again. So we went into the year with $106. We get $6 during the year, and now we have $112. Look, year three, similar thing. You earn 6% on the original 100. So how much do you have after three years? You would have the 112, which is what you had after two years, plus the $6 interest that you got in the third year gets you to $118 in three years. So as you can see, every year you're simply getting $6 of interest. So you can see that here in a general form, how much did you have after t years, you know, any number of years, you would simply have the original $100 plus the amount of interest that you would accrue, which would be the original 100 times the 6%. So it's $6 per year, 4, and you capture that by times t, which is the number of years of interest that you're accruing. So if you want to know how much you have after, you know, one year, you can see it's 100 plus 6. After two years, it's 100 plus 6 times 2. After three years, it's 100 plus 6 times 3. And let's say you want to know how much you'd have after 10 years. It would be 100 plus 6 times 10. If you want, you can use algebra, pull out the 100, and so you would have 100 times 1, which captures the amount you originally put in, plus 6%, which captures the interest on the $100, times T. So this, which is circled in orange, captures how much you would have in interest at the end of a length of time of T years. This one here captures the fact that you get your original 100 back, add that all up, and that's how much you would have in T years. So in general, how much would you have <clears throat> if you earned simple interest and you started with C dollars, you would have your C dollars plus you would have the C dollars times the simple interest rate per period, so that's how much interest you would get per period in terms of dollars, but it may be invested for more than one period, so you have to multiply that by the number of periods that it's invested by. Again, through algebra, you can pull, and so again, it's the original amount plus the interest in dollars per period times the number of periods. You know, sometimes students see an equation with subscripts and things like that and lose sight of exactly what it's capturing and that's reflected here. Alternatively, let me go just to a slightly different color or green, pull the C0 out and how much did you have? You'd have what you started with times the 1 which captures getting back what you started with plus simple interest rate per period. So in our old example it was 6%, but you get that every year for however long you're looking at 
And so this expression here in the parentheses captures how much you would get in interest over a uh, you know, length of time that involved multiple periods. And so again, here you can see you know, at any point in time, you'd have what you started with plus the interest per period times the number of periods. Important point, only use these equations if it's explicitly noted that interest is simple. We're going to also talk about compound returns and compound interest. That is what is assumed if it doesn't say anything. So unless it says simple interest or simple returns, do not assume simple. So, so far we've only talked about simple interest, but it can be applied to any return or any rate. Uh, if it's simple and it's just the rate is applied only to the original amount only to the original principal and not to any earnings that have been accrued over time so let's do a, a quick little problem so Eric invests five hundred dollars today eight percent per year in simple interest so it explicitly says that so we know what we're dealing with and we want to know how much you'll have in 15 years well, remember, he'll have the original amount plus he gets interest each year, which is the original amount times a simple rate, times the number of years that it's going to be invested for. So in this case, he'll get his $500 back plus 500 times 8% captures how much he'll get each year in simple interest and he's going to be getting that interest for 15 years so that's equal to 500 plus forty dollars per year times 15 years which is equal to eleven hundred dollars so Eric would have eleven hundred dollars in 15 years five hundred dollars of that would be getting his original money back he'd also get 600 in interest from $40 of interest each year for 15 years.